Okay, back again for an update on my latest project, a robot head and arm. Not had a lot of time this week to progress, but I've done a bit today and I'll share that with you all now. I've got the live data coming back to the, the interface so I can see servo positions, uh, feedback from the potentiometers. So with that running, I can move the, the arm or the head to a position and it will show me the actual joint positions in, in degrees, which means that I can use this to build up different poses for the robot, which I can then link together in a sequence with a delay in between each position for now and, and build up a, a sequence of, of poses. I've been doing a bit of work on the face, so writing some different facial expressions, having the eyes move, and that's using the, the Adafruit libraries for the Arduino for the particular board that I've got. And I, it makes it very easy to write circles, squares, lines, etc. to the screen. Uh, I've done a little test on repeatability of the robot arm. This was never intended to be high precision, high accuracy, uh, a high accuracy arm. But I wanted to just see how repeatable the, the arm positioning was, again using these stored positions. So I, I can show that. Uh, in a minute. So I'm going to replay a few sequences and I'm hoping you can see some of the emotion that the robot can convey with the facial expressions and the, and the movement of the head. And ultimately I'd like this robot to be able to interact with people autonomously but for now I'm just, just exploring the just exploring manually running sequences. So you've seen some of the sequences being replayed by the robot and that's as far as I've got today so um, that's going to bring this video to a close. Hopefully when I get a bit more time I'll be progressing this um, so like and subscribe and, uh, and I'll be back hopefully next week with another video. So until next time, thanks for watching.